Hello everybody, this is Adam from Wheel Guns for Wheel Men. And today we're going to be going over the Blim Bolt Carrier Group I purchased recently, just after the new year, from Wilson Combat's website. And it's a Wilson Combat BCG. So, I've cleared this AK. Uh, sorry, AR. It's been a long day. And... going to remove the chrome bolt carrier group and show it to you. I have fired 40 rounds today and it's gotten a little bit dirty. There's a BL right there for blim. But it's not too bad, and it seems that it should be easy to clean. Seems that the dirt's coming right off. And though this isn't really a video about charging handles, I will note that this Breek Arms Warhammer, I really like it. It's very functional. Now, before we dive more into the Wilson Combat Bolt Carrier Group, I'll show you what it came in. It came in a cardboard box. Wrapped in a buttload of bubble wrap. And then within a bubble wrap bag. Now this is the bull carrier group I had in this AR until I swapped it out just for today for the trip to the range. And this is from Palmetto State Armory. And it's had about 300 rounds of use. And there's not much wrong with it. It came nicely finished from Palmetto State, and this was 60, 70 bucks. Now these are normally 200, these chrome ones. That's not nickel boron, mind you, it's, it's chrome. And these Wilson Combat ones are 200 normally, but the blims were half off, so I couldn't really resist for 100 bucks, not much more than that Palmetto State. And I have inspected it. I've inspected it inside and out. I, before doing anything with it, um, disassembled it to the, you know, I didn't disassemble the bolt, but I took the two pins out and the firing pin, two retention pins, so this one, then the firing pin, then the pin that retains the bolt, took that out. I took the bolt out and they were clean from the factory and as you see it just all the residue just comes right off you should probably wear gloves but I was too lazy to do that today also if you use brake clean or anything inside make sure you have a very well ventilated room my window is wide open and I am not using enough brake cleaner to give myself cause for concern but if you are going to do this in a smallish room like the one I'm in right now you're going to want to make sure it's well ventilated or you can wear a mask um, like a painter's mask which I have and I use that for when I clean long term in the winter time or when I clean in the winter time for long periods of time like if I have four or five guns to clean now we're just going to see how well this cleans off probably don't even need to use any brake cleaner Let's see if it just wipes down if you had a rag, yeah, see, so just no solvent necessary, really. Now, as I was saying before I distracted myself, again, it's been a long day. Um, I inspected it to see where the blim was, because of course it says it's a blim, so there's some cosmetic blemish, allegedly. And the only thing I could see was... Make sure it's not right there. There, there's scratches or tool marks or something on this surface right here. 
And those aren't present on my other bolt carrier groups. See, that has straight lines. Looks intentional. But these are not intentional looking. They look like tool marks. Again, like right there. But other than that, you know, I don't see any edges that were rounded incorrectly. Don't see any deep gouges, any other scratches. It's really nice. And I have zero issues with it today at the range. Probably could assume that I would have led with that if that were an issue. But yeah, you just, I, uh, this has been sitting in a range bag for the past six or seven hours, so it's not like I just got back from the range either. Yeah, cleans nicely, looks nice. If the little tool marks that I, I pointed out are the blim, then that's not noticeable. Also, I find it silly to worry about a blemish on a bolt carrier group because who, who's actually gonna be looking at your bolt carrier group, right? Like maybe this part right here, and that's only if your dust cover is open. But really, internal parts to a gun, I don't care if they're cosmetically blemished because they're internal. Anyways, hopefully that was helpful in making a choice as to whether or not you want to purchase one of these chrome bolt carrier groups from Wilson Combat. Uh, and especially if you can, they so any blooms in stock, I'm not sure about this four or five days ago. I will say it came in like three days from when I ordered it. So that's really quick shipping. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.